Hi. 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 Pleased to meet you. Yeah, Welcome to Exmoor Zoo. So, you've got two, have you got two black leopards here? We have two black leopards. Uh, we have a female called Ebony, yep. who is now 14 and a half. Thank you. And we have a male called Zoiza. It must mean something, but I've never looked it up. <laughs> um, and he is a little bit younger. Yeah. And so how did you come to having these leopards in your group? Well, it all centres around um, the myths and legends of the beast of Exmoor. And being located where we are, the zoo wanted to move into bigger category one carnivores. Um, what better one to do than the, the cat which is steeped in history of being the beast. So that's why we decided to do the melanistic leopard. Yeah. And that, that's a fundamentally the story. We also have Puma here, which is also a cat which is um, in our British countryside. So we have effectively side by side two species we can lay seeds for visitors to talk about, about the myths and the legends, and let, it, let people ask us questions, of, you know, do we think it's true? Why do we think it's true? And all these other kinds of things. So it's thought-provoking, shall we call it. It's not some place that almost seems like common knowledge. Yes, um, and yes. Some, and some places, I, I speak to people, particularly in the cities, who yes. just think it's the most preposterous thing yes. that these animals could uh, be living yeah, quite. Um, among us. Quite. Well, they don't live amongst us, they live around us. That's the key thing to point out. Yeah. They do. Um, and the reason why the, 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 um, the tag of beast of the moors is because that's where most of the sightings are. Because the moors, big open areas, are full of hidey holes, full of no pressure, full of places these cats can do their own thing, and more importantly, not many of us, and lots of food. Mm. So the question to pose to anybody who is skeptical is, why can't they exist? There's no unearthly reason why a big cat, a small cat, can't exist in our countryside. It is literally quite forward as that. And it's our, it's our um, not job, but it's the whole point of this is to stimulate conversation and we do get in the summer especially when we're quite busy uh, lots of people who come in and they normally wait until the talk is finished and then they'll say I've seen one or a friend of mine has seen one so it's always still that stigma of everyone's going to laugh at you if you say oh yeah I've seen one in all honesty it, it, most of the stories which are stories have been made up for giggles for financial gain and things like that <coughs> and of course then when it's put in a newspaper with a sensationalistic headline um, and people read it and go oh really what what why are there leopards running around what are we going to do about it um, that's where all the shall we call them uh, people who kind of climb on the bandwagon come out of the woodwork and yeah oh yeah they're there oh no they can't be there where's the evidence where's the proof and it goes round and round and round this the, the stories go round and round and round all the time um but the thing which is without shadow of a doubt is there was a puma caught live in scotland it's the only one which has ever been caught live she's called felicity the puma um she was a cat which escaped um and lived a period of time wild made a mistake, got caught, and lived the rest of her life in the Scottish Highland Wildlife Park. That's the only cat on record of being kept as a pet, released, and then caught. But there's, there is countless evidence of uh, lynx in Norfolk being shot dead by farmers. Um, but it's like anything else, you have to separate, as I said, the wheat from the chaff. Yeah. And that's the tricky thing. And being a sceptical nation as we are, <clears throat> it's, you know, I haven't seen it, therefore it doesn't exist, is quite a lot of the time we get, people say that to us, hey, they can't survive, why can't they survive, you know, why, well, we've just given you a load of evidence, 
it's not really for us to say, yes, they do. It's to give you the opportunity to question your own thoughts. And when we do a public talk here every day, always end it with, when you get in your car, in the car park, and drive to wherever you're going to lay your head tonight, have a look. <coughs> Why can't they exist?